Hey guys, what's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's gonna be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So put clobber how you need to. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If this does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. It doesn't make sure you check your moon and rising sun. All right. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. All right. <clears throat> Maybe a future for the gems. Oh, opportunity. Could be opportunity to learn something, to study something, or could be opportunity that you're not all the way trusting. All right, Sagittarius energy towards Virgo Capricorn. Show me this temperance. You're healing. Oh, maybe not. A lot of twos here. Yeah, another two. <clears throat> and a three of pentacles. <coughs> Sorry, guys, excuse me. <clears throat> so unless you're dealing with the Sagittarius, there's been a waiting period. There's love here. There's a bond between you and someone, but the, things have kind of been at a stalemate, maybe because of work or maybe because of third energy. Maybe somebody needed to make a decision and not making it. Um, this could just be to work together, to build, to grow, to do a project together. Um, to plan for the future, but there's been a period of waiting of kind of just going with the flow in a situation, not moving. So yeah, the hangman and the two of wands, there is a choice that needs to be made here. But it's either like somebody's being oblivious to it. With the hangman in the middle, Pisces energy, this is somebody who's not really making that that decision this could be like a it's it's associated with neptune the planet of illusion and fantasy so make sure you're seeing things clearly for what they are but this is also somebody like um literally just hanging back not making this decision whether that's to work on something between you know two things or two people whatever it is it's, it's somebody it looks like kind of ignoring the um, decision or kind of living in a, a state of illusion, cutting off intuition, make sure you're seeing things clearly. All right, because we have the two of pentacles here for the middle with the obstacle, which is still about being up in the air, um, weighing options, trying to make that decision. We have one, two, three, four. We have all the twos out here. Twos are about decisions. Um, planning i mean not planning what the fuck did that come from um decisions and choices balancing things out show me this two of pentacles this is somebody still kind of unsure here this king of cups um oh wow the emperor and the high priestess a lot of intuition there there could be like a mother or something that's that's in the picture um, show me this two of pentacles, this decision, this choice, this, I know I need just one card, please, this decision, what is the ace of swords, oh, all right, so somebody, it looks like it's getting that clarity, it's making that decision, with the tower, um, that's a major change, that's assertiveness, somebody having, a strong desire. All right, so the justice. That's an 11 card, which breaks down to two. Libra energy. So there could be, oh, fuck. Wow. It almost feels like it gets explosive here. 
Gemini energy as the there's your energy. You're like mirroring each other's energies. But with the um the seven, it's like there's some truth, there's some freaking clarity coming out. There could have been a legal situation where things got to a legal level here. Um, but with that seven of swords and the ace of swords. Oh. It looks like some things either got revealed, came out, and it could have been in a court situation. Because with that tower, you could have cut out situations that like you felt like you outgrown or that just weren't working for you here. This could be somebody. What is the Seven of Swords? The Three of Cups. It could have been a third party situation. Friends could have got involved. There could have been gossip around it. Um, it feels like there was a third energy here that came in somewhere. I don't know if that was revealed. Because with the tower, that can be like a, a pretty, you know, that's like tower falling. Things could have been realized, truths could have came out, could have been spoken, could have been in a legal situation, could have been about a third party or friends, something like that. Um, but it looks like somebody is having a hard time like trusting the situation or there's a third party involved here. The general reading, so you have to take it. Yeah, see, somebody goes to the situation. There could have been money issues here. Like somebody just abandoned something. Um, and this could have a lot to do, especially with the tower there. Um, that rules the first house, which is about our self-image, like how we come out. So somebody could have, you know, uh, this is a, a strategic plan here in some situations. This led to a, a legal situation. There could have been theft. This could be a whole lot of things. Third party. Show me the seven of pentacles for Gemini. It's a hell of an obstacle. If I do say so myself. Show me the seven of pentacles, please. King of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. The seven and the eight of pentacles. So it's looking like somebody is putting time and energy, taking control of like their happiness, a lot of drive behind this. Um, very, it's, a, it's a, a masculine energy, but it's like a take charge energy. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, but it's also about like that power, that energy, that that force, that drive. So with that King of Wands, somebody is definitely feeling confident and going after their happiness. Um, the Seven and the Eight of Pentacles is taking your time, putting time and energy to work on things, to rebuild. This could be literally your career, um, especially if there was a financial loss. But, and this could be a relationship. Somebody is, is taking things slow, waiting for things to, to grow here. Yeah, see this Emperor, Aries energy is, is busting. Somebody is really working hard for something new here. Or for the idea of it. Something that you're very passionate about. This is a very take charge energy. So it could literally be about your um what shit. This is this is like trying to rebuild. Either literally rebuilding after poverty or after rebuilding like this marriage or whatever, you know, after a legal situation or after a third party situation a lot of fire a lot of passion and somebody is definitely you know working hard here the queen of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy the knight of cups and the ten of cups this is a love offer coming back around there's emotional fulfillment this is somebody showing up to um take charge to offer this cup of love possibly an apology but there's something new here beginning with the Queen of Pentacles, you could be very much about your money. Um, this could be business-wise. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very stable energy. So it looks like things are, are turning around here. 
A lot of sexual attraction on someone's part if this is relationship wise for you. But there is love behind it. And somebody's really working hard to looks like to get that back, to get some type of foundation back. All right, Gemini. Hope this helped. Hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.